hello guys hope you all are doing good in this video we are going to see about an interesting topic whether soul has weight or not isn't it very interesting yes so today i am going to introduce a scientist named as dr mcdowell of haver hills tales of experiments at death this is a very interesting topic and he says that the soul has weight enough Dr. Duncan O. McDougall, born in 1866, October 15th, and he passed away on 1920, was an early 20th century physician in Haverhill, Massachusetts, who sought to measure the mass lost by a human. McDougall attempted to measure the mass change of six patients at the moment of death. His first subject, the results from which McDougall felt were most accurate, lost three to four of an ounce which has since been popularized as 21 grams that means that whenever a body passes away there is a loss of 21 grams now the interesting thing to know here is from where is that 21 grams being lost and what contains that 21 grams is it the weight of the soul let's watch out McDougall later measured 15 dogs in similar circumstances and reported the results as uniformly negative with no perceived change in mass. He took these results as confirmation that the soul had weight and that dogs did not have souls at all. McDougall complains about not being able to find dogs dying of the natural causes that would have been ideal, led one author to conjecture that he was in fact killing the experimental animals as in a standard practice in scientific experiments. On March 10th, 1907, before McDougall was able to publish the results of his experiments, New York Times wrote the story in an article titled Soul Has Weight. Physician Thinks. McDougall's results were published in April of the same year in the Journal of the American Society for Psych Psychical Research and the Medical Journal American Medicine. I would like to quote a point, still I did not reveal, where has these 21 grams gone? Yes, it includes the feelings, the pressure of the mind, the wants of a person, etc. All the mental reactions and the physical state of the mind which contribute to any kind of feelings has weight. That means if I have my feelings of emotion, if I show the kindness, if I have cruelty, if I have anger, he claims that each person's mental feelings have this 21 grams of weight. Isn't it very interesting guys? 21 grams of weight for our feelings. Yes, you heard me right. I would like to quote and finally conclude the video saying the living soul of a man, once conscious of its power, cannot be quelled. Yes, the soul is the truth of who we are. Thank you for watching my video. If you liked it and you want to know more about souls or anything stuff, I would like to be pleased to give you any kind of video if you just like it. Thank you.